Oh, man. Well done. Another episode in the bag. So glad we're finished with Architects. Ugh, yeah. Thank God it only takes two people to make a building. Yeah, imagine we need like a whole bunch of other like different kind of Oh, people. wait, hang on. I just got a text from the CEO of Project Strange. Hey guys, well done. Another episode in the bag. Hey, that's the same thing I said. Can't wait to see what you guys have to say about the whole bunch of other consultants that structural engineers have to work with in order to make a building. Oh, man. Wait, there's more? I guess so. Oh. What's up gang, James O'Hara here, here with another episode of Project Strange. Last week's episode was such a hit, we only upset one architect. But it turns out in our haste to absolutely destroy the architecture industry, we may have overlooked a few other important folks that go into the process of making a building. We, as structural engineers, have to assemble them like pasty Avengers to finalize the plans to make a building. Geotechnical consultant. First up, we have the geotechnical consultant or geotech. It's their job to take a look at the geological structure around the project. Things like the firmness of the ground and any bodies of water nearby that need to be considered, and most importantly, the soil. Hey, whoa, 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 don't get too excited yet. I know you guys are really looking forward to the episode that's all about soil. <laughs> and I don't really want to spoil soil too much. So just know that it's the geotech's job to take a look at the soil. Don't worry though. Our next episode is gonna be soil, so you don't have to wait much longer. Environmental consultant. The environmental consultant consults the environment. Mechanical and electric. Just kidding. Environmental consultants are different from the geotech in the sense that it's the geotech's job to see if the environment is suitable for the building, and it's the environmental consultant's job to figure out if the building is suitable for the environment. Would this structure impact local wildlife? If I'm building a bridge over water, will that water become troubled? Paul Simon tried to answer this question without an environmental consultant, and he was so embarrassed he had to change his name to Al. The environmental consultant's job is to make sure that if you build a nightclub on Church Street, it's only going to impact the right kind of bear. Mechanical and electrical consultants. Mechanical and electrical consultants go hand in hand. It's their job to draw a new version of the floor plan and lay out where all of the electrical and mechanical components are going to go. Do you ever go into a coffee shop and you can't find anywhere to plug in your MacBook charger? You can thank those old m and &E consultants for that who really wanted you to talk to people like it's 1990 again. Like, no, I need to Photoshop my Spotify wraps for my Instagram story. Electrical consultants are the guys who drop all the wires, the, the power supplies, where all the light switches are gonna go. These guys are so full of ideas. Everywhere they're going, light bulbs are coming on. Cause, cause it's their job. Mechanical consultants handle all the other stuff. Plumbing, ventilation. These are the experts for when shit hits the fan. Shit, plumbing, fan, ventilation. They also do fire suppression. You just had to sneak that one in there, didn't you? I can't, I can't think of a joke for everything. Fire suppression. They're suppressing fire. Suppressing fire! Civil consultants. And there's nothing civil about them. The consultants, that is. They mostly deal with curbs, sidewalks, drainage, things every city needs a building to have. In fact, the term civil comes from the Latin word civis, meaning referring to a citizen. Civil engineering was created in the 18th century for all things dealing with civilians to distinguish it from military engineering. In today's age, that basically means dealing with a lot of bylaws. At least it's better than dealing with the in-laws, am I right? <laughs> huh? Huh? If you are building a roadway, you need to make sure that you have wide enough turn radiuses so that people can drive around safely and not run over any civilians. <laughs> Unless those civilians are architects. <laughs> Landscaping consultants. These guys are here for all of the finishing touches. They are gonna decide what trees go where. This is gonna be a cypress tree and these bushes are gonna be big and uh, bushy. 
probably. <laughs> they, they look at the grass and they say, what kind of grass are we gonna put here? Is it gonna be green grass or is it gonna be blue grass? That's how people play banjos. Despite being the last chef to touch the plate, landscaping consultants and all the other consultants have to have all of these plans in place before the building even breaks ground. And that's it. That's all of the consultants probably. All that really matters is that all of these people come together to make sure that a building is safe and practical and has a positive impact on their environment. All of them are important pieces to the process, except architects. Thank you so much. I'm James O'Hara and enjoy the process. Thank you so much to all of our incredible producers and especially this episode is dedicated to Evan and all of the kids and or adults who may be watching this video.